In this Australian city, thousands of people charge their electric cars for free. However, many of them are actually getting paid to charge their EVs. For a short period of time, one of the biggest cities in Australia ran purely on solar panels, but not commercial solar panels, not farmed solar panels, just solar panels on people's roofs. In fact, there was too much solar being generated by people's roofs for the entire city. The incredible thing about this is it wasn't a weekday when everyone was at work. It was a weekend. That's usually when people are at home, when energy use increases. What does this mean for the future of solar? Well, it means the naysayers got this very, very wrong. Most people didn't think this was actually possible. We talk about rooftop solar panels being a, a massively important part of the EV transition, and not just the EV transition, but the world's transition to renewable energy. But a lot of people say it's just not realistic. I mean, considering the idea, the idea that rooftop solar could play a huge part in the electricity of any big grid worldwide. A lot of the naysayers say it can't happen, it won't happen, it just did happen. Hang on a minute. Rooftop solar just the solar panels put on people's houses took 75%, a new record of 75% in one of Australia's biggest cities. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Solar panel prices have come down at the wholesale price by 30% this year. The key reason the mineral costs have come down, but also the, there's the three biggest panel manufacturers in the world and they have a bit of a race together to compete. They're bringing prices down. And this means that solar has never, ever been cheaper. Reneweconomy.com.au says rooftop solar took up all demand in South Australia, the world's most renewable grid in a large city. South Australia has set an incredible new Renewable energy milestone with rooftop solar taking up the state's operational demand in the middle of the day on Saturday. Um, it took up an incredible percentage of it. The Australian energy retailer said that operational demand in the state of South Australia fell to 21 megawatts and rooftop solar accounted for the rest of the demand. In other words, rooftop solar accounted for uh, almost all demand for electricity during those few hours on that day. Now, the thing is, if you're wondering, is Australia, we're not even here, in, we're not even in summer yet. Uh, it's only, it's only, what is it, September. We don't hit summer until literally December of this year. So we're still months away. What does this mean? Well, the Australian energy market operator said that this new minimum demand level was well below the previous minimum of 100 megawatts. The previous minimum was 100, now we've hit 21. That's a huge difference. That number was set last October and it's the lowest operational demand a state, and as far as we know, a city worldwide has reached in history. This came as grid-wide minimum demand levels were also set, again, due to the incredible deploying of rooftop solar. Now, the, the amazing thing here is here, so many people have rooftop solar in Adelaide, whereas people in Queensland, which has more sun, the Adelaide don't have as much rooftop solar. In fact, nowhere near as much. So I'm curious to know if you're in Queensland, why is this the case? Why is it? Is this more about state incentives at the state level that have helped customers and helped just local people to say, well, I'm going to get, I'm going to get solar panels. And the other thing you remember is it's going to make it so much cheaper for these people to run their electric cars. South Australia already leads the world when it comes to the most renewable grid, uh, which is actually, you know, running primarily on solar power. And over the last 12 months, it has often hit more than 100% renewable power. It's averaged over 70% over the past 12 months. It's basically proven to all the naysayers who said this couldn't be done. And actually, uh, it can be done because it, it is being done. What does all of this mean? Well, this huge increase in people deploying rooftop solar, it means that many of them are saying, you know what, I'm going to go get a battery. Tesla has their own virtual power grid in the state because there's so much solar there that it just made so much sense to put a virtual, a VPP there. And so basically Tesla is its own electricity company. Uh, but customers, of course, who own these batteries, these power walls, they also make a profit on electricity. And keep in mind, you're disrupting peaker plants here. So you can make a pretty good amount of money 
by having a, a battery on, on your home. Now, if you wanna make money from the grid, the best way to do it is with a Tesla Powerwall, but you can buy other battery packs just for home energy storage that work pretty well as well. BYD have a new one that they're offering too. What's most incredible about this story is that for a very short period of time, rooftop solar actually provided the grid with more than 100% of its energy needs in Adelaide, in South Australia. More than 100%. In fact, they had to turn some panels off because there was too much energy going into the grid. These are the times you can get electricity basically for free. And in fact, sometimes uh, networks will pay you to take energy out of the grid. Perfect timing to charge your EV. This is going to happen more and more often where the grid will pay you to take electricity out. And that's when everyone, I mean, anyone who's smart, that's when they'll go, hey, awesome, I'll charge my massive battery pack right now, basically get free fuel. So that's the, basically the trend of the future of the world is to have EVs being charged for free or actually someone's paying you for you to charge your electric car. And states, entire cities running almost only on solar and battery power with a little bit of wind storage backup as well. That's the future because 90% of the world lives on the sun belt around the equator. And let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Thank you for watching.